I've been a chef for 30 years and I'm going to go through some of the equipment that I feel serves a purpose for every chef. Over 30 years, uh, it's always been about trial and error, finding what works, not buying knives that do not serve a purpose or tools that do not serve a purpose. I'm going to go through some of the equipment and, and just like many other chefs, I have much more equipment than this, but this is the equipment I'll carry around in my case. So, let's go. This here is called an Ioshen. This here, as you can notice, is a lot larger blade than these two normal cooks for a stroke chef knives there. The reason being, that's more like a banqueting knife. If you work in banqueting, you want to use a large knife. It's easier on the hands, easier on the wrists. Okay, it's got a longer length for cutting through things, you know, on production uh, level. Ioshen, large cook knife is the best for banqueting. Keep that in mind. The smaller ones sound cool, but for banqueting, no. <clears throat> Next here we have two Japanese blades. We have the Miyabe and we also have the Shon. Both of them are great uh, cook's knives for stroke chef's knives, but to me, the, the Shon is the one that stays sharpest, the longest. <clears throat> the shun, shun is the best out of the two by far. The, the both of them are beautiful in every kind of way. Uh, the handles are shaped for a right-handed person. It's the shape of them, but left-handed people can use them. It's just, it's more comfortable for a right-handed person. Japanese steel, do not clip anything hard with them because, you know, sometimes we clip the bone when we're uh, French trimming, chicken, etc. Do not do that with a Japanese knife. There is a chance you could break the blade. <clears throat> very soft uh, no it's uh, well uh, th that's the wrong thing to say breaks very easy right okay next thing we've got the uh serrated carver right most carvers people get the this serration is very deep so it feels like when you're cutting things it's like uh bu -bu 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 like that right and you, you you do not want that. Uh, you you want to have smooth cuts, and the only knife that offers that is the Victorinox Serrated Carver. It's it doesn't give you the blah 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 like that as you. It's razor sharp. Uh, most times I'll say it's sharper than most cooks knives. Okay, we use that for like uh, slicing things super thin. Uh, like gravlax. I've also seen uh, a lot of chefs uh, um, basically use the name as a banqueting knife just for everything. Okay. Next here we have the Global Fish Fillet Knife, right? This is the best one on the market by far. This is my second one of these over a long period of time. It's a flexible one. You can You can take the uh, you, you can take the skin off a salmon, uh, a side of salmon, within about uh, one and a half seconds with that thing, right? That's how crazy that knife is. Very, very large. And the thing with Globals as well, they have like a, a, ba a balance right in the center, right? If they drop, they drop flat, okay? Next thing we have here is this. A global fish fillet knife. I love this one, you know. This is flexible too. Alright. Okay. This is absolutely beautiful. That this is a long version of it, right? These both are worth going into a, a chef shop and having a look at them both, you know. Uh, obviously the, the two of them serve slightly different purposes. Uh, bo both of them are fish fillet knives worth having within your set. Here we have a flexible uh, boning knife, as you can see, for all your butchery, uh, getting thing meat away from the bone very closely. 
uh, waste not want not as I say and then th this this is another tool that a lot of chefs call by their own names they call this a sharpening steel <clears throat> let me enlighten you it is not a sharpening steel it's called a honing steel I'll explain the the way you sharpen a knife is with a whetstone uh, a honing steel if you had to look at a blade on a microscope uh, the the tip of the knife is might be like slightly s-shaped or slightly bent at the tip too small for you actually to see with the naked eye right you couldn't see it on this one but if you put it in a microscope you would most likely see that the whole thing with a honing steel is it just straightens it up okay that's what a honing steel does and it helps make it sharper because of straightening that edge up not a sharpening steel a honing steel this next thing as well uh, when chefs go into fridges to get onions etc right the, the biggest thing chefs hate is uh, not being able to open the net of onions or nets of vegetables always carry one of these in your chef pocket on your shirt it's uh, safe it's, it's really safe and uh, you know you can use it for absolutely anything you wish right it's in a sheath I'll show you I'm using one hand here I think this might be made by Mercer okay so uh, uh, as you can see if you're in a fridge and you need to open a net of something you've always got that knife within your pocket it's fantastic you need to have one right next thing these are tweezers special tweezers for pin boning right it's for taking the bones out of salmon etc you need to have these because a lot of times uh, the fishmonger will pin bone things for you but they always forget some of them right or if you're getting a whole fresh fish and you you only fabricate the fish yourself you got to have these to take the bones out of it so fish tweezers is a must always have them because you never know when you'll need it unless you want to steal your girlfriend's eyebrow tweezers okay next thing not every chef needs them but i suggest get one they're fantastic you know it's like if you're doing roasts etc it's like get yourself a little a little probe right a little probe you can put this in your jacket you can carry it around but if you're going to carry one around with you make sure you've got probe wipes because before you use it you're expected to to wipe the probe before you use it and wipe it afterwards okay next you have the palette knife palette knife great for uh you know doing a uh, cakes great for lifting things you need to have a palette knife right it's got multiple multiple uses get yourself one fantastic right next thing here you've got the micro plane right this is a modern grater most chefs love it's great for grating garlic and zesty things like lemons and limes and it's fantastic when you're making things like gremolata etc super super easy to use razor sharp easy to clean okay uh, I've got a sheath here somewhere I need to have a look to see where I put it uh, next you've got a gnocchi board if you want to show uh, your scale and show people you can make gnocchi one of these fits in your case or your bag fantastic they're very small right uh, here shears you want to make sure you have shears right shears for if you're working with the uh, lobster and stuff like that or just cutting herbs get yourself shears uh, or let's just say if you're making a cartouche snip the end there you go next we've got an oyster uh, shocker right it's always handy to have one in your case right because when you end up saying you don't need something you need something and here we've got two Parisian scoops two different sizes great for doing little presentation kind of things fantastic to have in your case 
here. This is for scaling fish. Not every chef will use them. A lot of chefs will use their knife for doing that, but do you really want to be damaging your knife? Get one of these. Very light, fit easily in your case. This here is a for this is what we call a speed peeler right uh, the old style ones we used to use 30 years ago was a swivel peeler these ones are so much better i think this is victorinox these are the best ones to get and we i don't know if anyone's seen the ca fancy carrots they do i use this like as a chanel or a canal what do you call it i drag it along the carrot and it takes a little groove out of it very great very sharp next thing you want to make sure you have is is one of these right you want to have a spatula okay you every chef should have it great for lifting fish great for lifting things in the pan not every restaurant has them although they should get yourself one keep it in your case this here is a chanel or a canal whatever you would like to call it and a zester on the end fantastic not many people use the zester part uh, nowadays and uh, this time of cooking but it's always a great thing to actually have uh, so yeah again going through everything here uh, fantastic these are the sort of tools you really really want to have within your arsenal right uh, you uh, don't want to go out spending loads of crazy money buying lots of things that you're never going to use. Oh, and here's another two things as well I almost forgot to add, right? This is called a tournée knife, okay? This is for when you're turning vegetables. You hold it very, very tight like that, get control. And you, you use your thumb to help guide it around things, making little potato barrels, which are called chateaux and stuff like that uh, this is a knife you need to have you need to have one of these in your case fantastic knife and then here we've got a little prep knife little serrated knife some people call it tomato knife but how many people use it on a tomato knife uh, or some people call it a more multi-purpose knife here you go uh, these two are made by victrinox yet again but as I say, the tournée knife, I've felt lost without this, right? The amount of fancy things I can do with vegetables using this. It's a fantastic thing to have in your case. And if you sharpen these, you don't, well, not sharpening. If you use these in a honing steel, as we do with all our knives, you don't drag it the same way as we would. What you do is you do little circles on it because of the shape little circles on the honing steel so yet again here we go i think i went through all the equipment that's here i'll go through it all again we've got the we've got the microplane ioshen banqueting knife two cooks knives one by miyabe one by shun the prep knife serrated carver We've got the global fish fillet knife. We've got which is flexible. We've got the tournée knife. We've got uh, this knife here by uh, Victorinox. This is a fillet knife as well. I don't really use it, but it's always handy to have in case you want to borrow one to sew on. Uh, the global fish fillet knife as well. You've got the boning knife. You've got a honing steel. You've got the fish pin boning tweezers. You've got the little knife to keep in your pocket for cutting the nets on things. Always have that. You've got a little temperature probe. You've got uh, the pal 